This demonstration is a brief overview of Elite Software's residential HVAC programs. We start with the general project data window in RHVAC, where we enter some text to describe the project, as well as select the city for the outdoor design conditions. Next, we go to the system data window where we enter indoor design conditions as well as other system level inputs, such as infiltration rates. The next step is to go to the default room data window where we'll select the materials that will be used most often in the rooms. At this point, we can begin creating rooms for the project, and we have a choice of whether to use the room data window or drawing board to enter the rooms. For this demonstration, we'll select Enter Room Data with Drawing Board. The first step is to select how the drawing will be saved, and the top option of saving it within the project file is almost always the best choice. The template names include the page size and the drawing scale, but we can easily change those later if we need to. Let's start by creating the kitchen. So we'll drag and drop a room slash walls object onto the drawing. Now let's grab one of the corners of the room and drag it until the room is at the right dimensions. Now let's enter kitchen for the room name property. Now let's jump ahead to after having added the living room and the bedroom. Now the interior walls of these rooms have no heating and cooling load, so we'll need to use control double click to divide these wall segments into two walls so that we can set the interior part to not be included in the calculations. Now we'll double click on each of the interior segments so they won't be included in the calculations. To add a window or door to a wall, just drag and drop the appropriate object from the catalog. At this point, let's jump ahead to the completed drawing. Now let's look at the load preview window to get an overview of this project's heating and cooling loads. To see more detailed results, we'll need to look at the print preview window, which we can open by clicking Quick Preview Reports. To design the duct system for this project, we go back to the drawing board window and select the catalog Manual D Duct Size Drawing Objects. Now we'll drag and drop a supply main trunk object onto the drawing and we'll put the end with the blower motor symbol where the furnace fan will be. The next step is to create the runouts in the rooms using the Auto Create feature. Now we'll zoom in close and connect one of these runouts to the main trunk. And let's jump ahead again to the completed drawing. To see the calculation results, let's check the boxes for the manual D duct size reports. Now we can look at an automatic takeoff of all the ductwork parts that are needed for this project by clicking Bill of Materials. 
This list of ductwork parts was generated automatically from the duct objects that we drew on the drawing. The cells with a white background are editable. Let's add a part from the database to this project bill of materials. To find the part you want, first set the options for your database query using the controls on the left. Second, click the search button at the bottom. And then third, look through the list on the right. We want to add duct tape to this project's bill of materials. So let's search for a part that has tape in the description. Let's add this part to a new miscellaneous section of the project bill of materials. Now let's look at the print preview of the project bill of materials. Now let's open the energy audit program and find out how much it will cost to heat and cool this house. Let's click File and then New Project. Let's copy the fuel rates from another project that was done earlier. Notice that the fuel rates is the only checkbox that we have checked. And now we'll import the load calculation data from RHVAC. Our most recent RHVAC project is loaded automatically by default. Let's leave all the data to import checkboxes checked except for HVAC equipment because we want to select the equipment in Energy Audit. All the data from RHVAC has been imported, including the weather reference city. Let's open the system data window and enter the existing equipment. The existing air conditioner has a sear of 6 and a capacity of 2.5 tons. The existing furnace has an AFUE of 80 and a capacity of 50,000 BTUs. And now let's change the calculation methods for both cooling and heating to the more accurate bin data method. Now we'll click Add System to add our first proposed new system. First, we'll select the air conditioner and then the furnace. Notice that the new air conditioner is over twice as efficient as the existing system, and the capacity is much closer to the actual load, which will increase comfort levels as a result of better moisture removal. Again, we can see that the new furnace is 13% higher in efficiency than the existing one, which will reduce operating costs. And also, the capacity rating is closer to the actual load. Now, let's compare System 1 versus System 2 with a system comparison. System 2 is the one for which we want to show positive savings, so in the first list, we'll select System 1 and in the second list, System 2. Here we can see that Energy Audit estimates that the new equipment will save the homeowner $357 the first year. And this graph shows that the estimated savings over the next 30 years is over $13,000. And finally, this bar chart gives a good illustration of how much the new equipment could save the homeowner over the next year. 
Thank you for watching this demonstration of Elite Software's residential and light commercial HVAC programs.